What is the overall energy for the sign of Aries? Just keep in mind the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Aries, in the recent past, we have the Three of Swords. Now, with this card, there could have been an element of sorrow that was undeniable at that time. Now, what was on the other side of the sorrow can be joy and understanding. So you needed to, to fully allow yourself to experience any sorrow and pain that came up at that time. You needed to do this so that you could move past it. Now you also could have been experiencing some deep emotional issues that needed to be addressed before you were able to move on. If you deny any of the pain that you were experiencing, it would not make it go away. Or you knew that it wouldn't go away on, on its own. So you allowed or you should have allowed yourself to experience it. But make sure or you made sure not to wallow in it. For long periods of time. Okay, so also you do not and should not, like I said, wallow in grief for long periods of time, but however, only you would have been able to decide how long was long enough. Others wouldn't be able to answer that question for you. And it's paired with the Six of Swords. Now this card, it points to a great time for travel of any type. It also, it also can indicate movement, a change in where you are inwardly, inside. Now usually this change is for the better whether it's internal or external. So you would need to think about where you want to be or if that's what you did in the recent past. You needed to think about where you wanted to be or where you were going. This card, it also shows a slight reduction in stress and strain. Now things may not have been perfect but they were going better or much better than they were previously or in the recent past. So you would have taken this time to get your head above water and decide where you're going from there. Even taking a short break or a change of scenery would have been helpful. And this doesn't have to cost, it does not have to cost a lot of money. So it looks like the Six of Swords uh, with the movement and travel, it helps you to move out of any sadness and sorrow that you may have been experiencing with the Six of Swords. And that's in the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Page of Swords. Now this is a court card. It can sometimes stand for a person in your life. And if this is the case, it will represent a person who is younger. They're younger than you. And also it indicates that a message is coming towards you. In this case, it's probably a message that you're not hoping to hear. Now also this card, it tells us that 
you are probably trying too hard or pushing too fast or stepping on the toes of others. Now you may need to study the body language of others and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism because you're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy now and you're going to need to use it wisely. The Page of Swords is paired with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, it reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it will pass. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective. As we all know, like everything else, it will change. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is outside of your control, but that even that is okay, because you'll need to know how to roll with any changes and think positive. With these two cards paired together, the Page of Swords, it's letting you know it's about an uh, actual person, possibly. Um, they're coming towards you with a message. And it, if it's not a person, you could be receiving some type of message that you don't really care to hear about. Uh, it could be by text or by mail, by phone, if it's not a younger person. Um, just be careful at this time not to step on the toes of others, uh, okay? And because you'll be having a lot of mental and physical energy at this time. And being that it's paired with the will of fortune, just keep in mind that you need to count your blessings and whatever you're experiencing, good or bad, just keep in mind that, uh, the times are always changing and you'll need to roll with any changes. So if this is a good or if this message is something that you don't want to hear, just keep in mind that it will change. Uh, eventually, it'll be something that you want to hear. And then uh, who knows, later on, it can be something that you don't want to hear. It's the wheel that keeps rolling and keeps changing. So you you always have to remember to roll with any changes uh, because like I said, the message with the page of swords, something that's coming your way that you don't really care to hear, but that will change. Like I said, eventually it's, you'll get a message and it'll be something that you do want to hear. That's how the wheel of fortune works. And that's in the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. We have the two of pinnacles. Now, two main issues are at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to so many things. Multitasking is not your friend right now. You may need to cut down on the things you are doing in order to focus on your two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced be sure that you are paying attention there. And it's paired with the hangman. Now, as you can see in the picture, this card, it shows that you're at a crossroads. It could be two options, in or out, up or down, or something like yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, if that happens, it's a clear sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, and things. Now, it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of because any sacrifice that you make 
will open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. All in all, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, particularly if you are willing to look at it or take a look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. And with these two cards paired together, the two of pinnacles uh, is just letting you know you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to so many things. Multi multitasking is not your best friend at this time. So pull back from some from too many things. It's paired with the hangman. So if you don't pull back from so many things, you're going to feel like you're at a crossroads. And you're not going to know which way to go. So stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control certain situations, people, and things. Now, you could be using an outdated attitude or have an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of at this time. That's going to be the challenge. And we move on to the outcome, the three of wands. Now, you are more than likely to find your finances are going much better. In fact, this could be a month that your, your proverbial ship has finally come in and you're more than likely to be feeling very strong with a very good reason. Now you may be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Now overall the three of wands it refers to work in an extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts are seen, they're appreciated, and are well respected. So give yourself some credit at this time. It's paired with the Five of Cups, which is another card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you need to ask yourself, what are you going to choose to focus on? Now the implication is extremely clear. Are you going to be crying over spilt milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? Now the point is, you need to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. With these two cards paired together, the three of wands is just letting you know that things are going much better for you and that your ship has finally come in. Your finances are, are looking great and uh, things in work they're extremely positive at this time. People are looking up to you and, appre and appreciating you with a lot of respect. And it's paired with the Five of Cups. So uh, you'll be reminded where to put your focus in life at this time. Uh, don't cry over spilled milk. Focus on the milk that you already have. Because with the Three of Wands, um, your ship has finally come in. It's an extremely positive time for you. You'll find that your finances are going much better. So just look at the brighter side of life and give yourself some credit. And that's going to be the outcome. So Aries, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please subscribe, leave a comment, like, if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching, and have a great day.